Hey guys, it's Toby Morrison here and I just wanted to do this very important video uh, to talk about really getting back on track um, for yourself. But this is totally up to you, you don't have to um, take this uh, information if you don't want to. You can totally dismiss it. Um, but something that I'm finding a lot lately that's happening to a lot of people is that they're starting to lose track and focus on what's actually important in their recovery. And instead, they start to actually not be solution focused and instead start looking at problems. And I just want to be clear, there's nothing wrong with uh, identifying and analyzing problems. It is part of every single decision making process. What's not useful is when that becomes an overbearing or overarching behavior along the way, which actually gets in the way of the process of change. Now, I am sure you can identify with me at home right now. In any area of your life, and we do this in all areas of our life, whether it's with our health our, our relationships, our self, our behavior, our education, our career, whatever's bugging us, where we overanalyze and we stay stuck on this problem. We basically get the magnifying glass out and we literally look down at it and we expand it. And we look at all the different avenues and ways in which it is. We, we, you know, we basically stand in the mud, in the shit, so to speak, and it's like, this is a problem. We hold on to it so strongly. But I want to suggest maybe that the way to change is by actually letting it go, by actually not holding on to it anymore and being open and curious to a solution focused way. Um, one of the strengths that I see in a lot of people who improve and recover from chronic fatigue syndrome, not is it only in their commitment the decision making uh, and the discipline involved in that. But one of the things that I definitely see is this willingness to not stop the solution focused search. Like, have a think about it for a second, right? Two individuals right here. Individual one, problem focus, constantly looking for the why and the, and the what and, you know, why is, why is this happening to me and this isn't fair and this is my problem and I, this is who I am, all right? It's part of me. And number two is identifying like, yep, this is shit, not in denial, totally aware and like, this, is, this sucks, I don't enjoy what's actually happening, I hate it, but what can I actually do about it? Where in this situation can I actually influence this? And if I can't, that's okay. I'm going to leave it. But if I can, where or what can I do to influence this situation? And who can I learn from who has maybe been through what I'm going through or has gone through what I'm going through and can actually help me get there quicker? And... These two people, same problem, different outcome. Person number one stays down here. You know what it's like. You stay in the shit. You, you identify with the shit. You're constantly thinking about the shit. You're constantly talking about the shit. And how do you feel? Like you answer that at home. How do you feel? You feel pretty shit because you're stuck in the shitty situation. Person number two, same problem, different solution. This is the hardest part that so many people find it so challenging to get and I totally understand it too, especially when you're in it, it's so easy to not see it, but when you're out of it or you can identify this from a past experience, when you're solution focused, you don't really care about why it's happened or what's happened. You just, because you're not, you're not looking at the past. You're not looking down, you're looking up. You're looking forwards. You're looking at a trajectory of where you want to go. And with that solution-focused approach, 
you are going to find things that will be useful in your life. Now, this is not a mind over matter thing. Um, what it is, is a behavior over matter thing. Because if we become solution focused and we keep searching for those solutions that are going to be useful along our journey of improvement, then we are actually going to behave and act and do things differently that will serve us. Now, for example, a perfect example is this. If you think that you're eating healthy, but you're just having toast for breakfast or uh, coffee all throughout the day or uh, chocolate and high, high amounts of sugar, and you're wondering why you feel like shit, but you're still focused like, oh, no, it's got nothing to do with that. It's not going to help it. But, so, but person number two goes, I'm going to change my nutrition. I'm going to level out my blood sugars. I'm going to eat a holistic, uh, you know, uh, food intake that's going to actually support my system. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I'm just going to do what works. <laughs> can you see the difference and the outcome that that can give someone? Now, I'm going to give you an example. We have, a, we have, we have so many amazing members in our online uh, recovery program right now. And as part of this program now in 2020, we have a mentorship aspect where we get together every single week. We do group coaching. Uh, we have amazing Dr. Olivia in our program who shares, uh, you know, her research backed information on what works for holistic health. We have Gemma Hanley, who's an amazing mindset coach, um, helps people identify limiting beliefs helps people identify where they just might be self-sabotaging or, or stuck, right? Because it's just, it's just human nature to do that. And it's so easy to get bogged down in the problem solving rather than the solution searching. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, let me know because this is, like, if you get this, it's life changing. And I have an experience where we had a member who was really down in the dumps. Um, and I don't just mean mentally, I mean physically too, like to the point where wasn't really improving, wasn't seeing any progress, was like, f was coming from a place of desperation, um, was jumping from one thing to another and just found it really hard to kind of settle in and, and focus on herself and what was important for her. And within four months of working with us and, and, and really Following this process of what I'm talking about, solution focused process, solution focused outcomes, focusing on a holistic level of what she needed for herself, she's changed her life. She's literally turned her life around. And, and there is no better proof than that. And it's not about me. It's not about my program. Yes, we help facilitate change, but we don't do the change. It's up to you. It's up to you. You know, it's, it really comes down to the individual. And it is just so important to look within yourself and go, well, what are the solutions for me today? You know, like personally for me, if I sit down and I go, Toby, what are the solutions for me? What do I need to do to help me with this problem right now? Yes, we need to be aware of the problem. We need to identify the problem. We, know, we don't need to identify ourselves as the problem. And when we remove that barrier and we get out of the mud, our life can actually... There's space for us to move into a different area, an area that we would much prefer. Does that make sense, guys? Let me know in the comments below uh, if this resonates with you. Uh... I'm pretty passionate about this right now because I want to see more people start taking responsibility for themselves in the context of what they can actually change. You might not be able to change much right now, you know, but that's okay. You don't need to change everything, but what can you change? If you're telling me there's nothing that you can change, uh, sorry, I don't believe that. And it's up to you to identify that. But the people that we've been working with lately is phenomenal. The change and the self-responsibility and the commitment has been 
through the roof and because of that their results have been amazing and some results are ne not necessarily pushing themselves it's actually giving them giving themselves permission to do less it's taking that responsibility to to be aware of their mindset and and realizing that on the days that they're not feeling as good that they don't get down on themselves and they do uh, appropriate strategies that are going to help them heal and feel better uh, on the not so good days and it's about looking at you know my nutrition and where i want to go and my goals and my dreams and seeing where i'm stuck and also asking great questions to get better solutions and answers so this is just more of a reminder video for you to ask yourself like how solution focused actually am i right now am i gonna lay down and focus on what's wrong and what i can't actually improve on because i have to tell you now that every single person i've seen improve and recover from chronic fatigue syndrome doesn't do that they don't sit there every day and think about what's wrong with them and how bad it is because that is energy wasted and because CFS robs you of energy, we can't afford to waste energy on things that aren't useful for us. And so I would just invite you to consider it might be worth recommending you to check in with yourself and see how solution focused you uh, are right now. And if you are, that's brilliant. Let us know in the comments. If, you're, if you feel like you're on top, you're solution focused, tell us some strategy, the strategies that you're using right now and that you're doing that's helping you get back on track. Because it's inevitable to get off track with CFS. This is not a uh, you know, linear, straight line progress uh, chart. This is, a, this is a process of trial and error, up and down, tuning into your body, figuring out what works for you, and then fine tuning that. And so, you know, I hope that this video helps you get back on track. Uh, you know, there's an old saying, you know, get back on the horse. In Australia, there's a saying called, you, you got to get back on the horse, basically meaning if you fall down, get back up. If you have a setback, if you're, if you, you know, you did something that wasn't useful for you, learn from it, get back on the horse. Um, and if you continue to do that, you'll continue to learn. And when you continue to learn, you continue to grow. And when you continue to grow, you start to see progress that you never thought you could have seen before. So I hope that helps. If you want to learn more about the key strategy, strategies that you can use for your recovery, we have an amazing on-demand on webinar that helps you identify the three key areas that you might be struggling with and also offer you solutions that will help you get back on track, gain clarity on what you need to focus on physically, mentally, emotionally, nutritionally, and holistically uh, to help you on your journey to better health and a better quality of life. If you're interested in that, I'm going to leave a link in the comments or in the description where you can click on it. All you need to do is put in your details. You will get to uh, access to the on-demand recovery webinar straight away. And also you'll get uh, an email with the recorded version. So you can, you know, you don't have to watch it right now. You can sit back and relax uh, later on in bed. Make sure you get a cup of tea or a herbal tea or some water. Uh, bring your notepad and pen. Um, I highly recommend taking some notes on this because it's a very in-depth webinar and make the most of it. There's a really uh, amazing uh, opportunity at the end of that webinar too to get a recovery plan for yourself. Uh, if you're interested in that, like many of our members uh, have got now who are doing incredibly well and seeing great progress and results um, by having the structure, the routine and a consistent steady plan that they can move towards as they start to feel better. So I'll leave the link below, make sure you click on it and uh, put your details in and you will get access to it straight away. All the best and let me know if this video helped you too. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.